Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today we're going to discuss something rather unfortunate in the world of jailbreaking iOS 8.4.1, the latest firmware that was just released by Apple today. <laughs> Now, for those of you who are only interested in quick and short updates, let me give you the rundown. So essentially, iOS 8.4.1 was released. It does patch the untethered Taiji jailbreak, meaning if you were to update your device to 8.4.1, you would no longer be able to jailbreak until a new untethered utility is made available. And as of recording this video, that obviously hasn't happened. Though, if you're watching this video at a later date, ensure that you check the annotations because things may very well have changed. And I will definitely update you guys anytime anything happens in the annotations of this video. So be sure to watch it on the desktop version of YouTube so you can actually view those update annotations again if you're watching this at a later point. Now with that said, let's go ahead and launch up Safari here and we're going to get straight into it. So as I just mentioned, today following approximately one month of developer beta testing, Apple released iOS 8.4.1 to the general public. Now iOS 8.4.1 being the first general iOS release since the company issued iOS 8.4 to introduce Apple Music is a rather unfortunate release for jailbreakers as it patches the untethered jailbreak for iOS 8.4 that was released at the end of June. And with a build number of 12H321, iOS 8.4.1 is available for immediate download either as an OTA software update in the settings app or via the traditional iTunes method. Though if you are jailbroken, just note that you will not be able to update to 8.4.1 through the settings app because Apple blocks OTA updates for jailbroken devices. That's actually a good thing. It means you can't accidentally lose your jailbreak on your device itself just by trying to update through the settings app. You'd actually have to plug your device into your computer via USB cable and launch iTunes and click on the update prompt. And believe me, it will prompt you to update. So the best way to maintain your jailbreak is to just be cognizant when plugging into iTunes and recognize that it's prompting you to update and just click cancel to it. You're not forced into anything when connecting to your computer. And like I've already stated, those of you jailbreakers should avoid 8.4.1 at all costs. Now the latest 8.4.1 firmware is an incredibly minor release, and knowing that 8.4.1 won't introduce any noticeable features, updating to iOS 8.4.1 certainly doesn't justify the loss of one's Taiji jailbreak. And concerning iOS 8.4.1 itself, as suggested by the firmware's OTA release notes, which were previously unknown during the minor firmware's extended beta testing period, Period. Yeah, that's right. We had absolutely no clue what 8.4.1 brought to the table, and we didn't know until today. The firmware simply corrects several small issues pertaining to Apple Music and Beats One Radio. Seriously, guys, that's it. Let's go ahead and switch on over here to the change log for iOS 8.4.1. Now, this is from the settings app in the OTA update section of a non jailbroken device. So it states that it introduces improvements and fixes to Apple Music, and that it resolves issues that could prevent turning on iCloud Music Library. It corrects a problem that hides added music because Apple Music was set to show offline music only. It provides a new way to add songs to a new playlist. If there aren't any playlists to choose from, 8.4.1 also resolves an issue that may show different artwork for an album on another device. It resolves several issues for artists while posting content, and it fixes issues where to tapping love or the heart button doesn't work as expected while listening to Beats One Radio. So guys, very, very minor stuff. And we're going to discuss this pesky link here at the bottom, which unfortunately does mean that the jailbreak is patched. So one disconcerting note as far as jailbreaking is concerned is the taunting link at the bottom of the release notes we just went over. That links to Apple's primary security page, which contains a document that confirms Taiji is patched. So switch Switching over here, you'll notice that this is the exact link that Apple features at the bottom of the release notes for 8.4.1. And just swiping through, this is the actual segment of all of Apple's recent releases and their security. So we can scroll up to the top here because 
1.1 should be right there and just tapping into it unfortunately we do have a number of patches where Apple actually credits Tai G so as you can see there they say Tai G jailbreak team and they're accredited to discovering these vulnerabilities and actually exploiting them so we have a number of vulnerabilities that are patched unfortunately in 8.4.1 Apple does confirm it themselves so let's go back over here and finish this up now looking back at the beginning of the year in January when Apple issued iOS 8.1.3 to the public to patch the first Tai G jailbreak 8.1.3 also attempted to masquerade as a similar quote bug fix update containing the same security link that we see in iOS 8.4.1 now without employing too much conjecture it's conceivable that Tai G may have additional vulnerabilities stored that otherwise couldn't be used on iOS 9 due to its quote rootless security measures meaning we may receive another jailbreak for iOS 8.4.1 prior to iOS 9's inevitable public release next month though it's kind of unlikely at this point but we will just have to wait and see again things could change at any moment which is why I recommended earlier to check the annotations now I hope you guys like this video again just an update letting you guys know where everything stands as far as jailbreaking is concerned and that 8.4.1 does patch the jailbreak so avoid it at all costs if this video helped you out be sure to give it a big thumbs up I'm also going to hold some new giveaways soon I'm working on the finer details of things so click that subscribe button down below next to my channel name if you have yet to and you don't want to miss out on any of my upcoming giveaways and for those of you who are interested in earning free prizes all you have to do is just navigate to freeappsfast.com inside of mobile safari and sign up once you do it's as simple as downloading free applications for points and using said points to again redeem the aforementioned prizes including paid apps and apple's app store and gift cards all right guys and that wraps up everything i wanted to talk about in today's video if you want to be updated even more often don't forget to like me on facebook follow me on twitter as well as instagram at icyd also check the cards of this video there will be important resources for you guys there and until next time this is icu signing out